A year ago, when we elected a new president, the public expected a president who would look out after the public's interest, not the interest of big financial and corporate interests. We wanted a president who would really go to Washington and give them hell. And um, I think now it's time to do that. Well, the energy problem, is, as you probably know, is, a, is um, an issue of our addiction to fossil fuels and our need to solve that addiction and to move to a clean energy future in which we're not dependent on energy sources from all around the world. The solution to the energy problem and the environment problem will be very beneficial to our economy. Um, but we have to understand, it's not simply a matter of building a few windmills and solar uh, plants, although those will likely and surely will be part of the solution. But we have to understand what the fundamental problem is. And that is that fossil fuels are presently the cheapest form of energy. And as long as they are, they will continue to be used and even more so. The reason that they are the cheapest is partly that we subsidize them. Our government subsidizes fossil fuels. And the fossil fuels are not made to pay for the damage that they do to human health through air and water pollution and the damage that they do to future generations. So the solution clearly needs to be putting a price on, fossil on carbon emissions from fossil fuels. This would be a fee collected by the government from the fossil fuel industry. It would raise the price of energy for the public. But if this money is distributed to the public 100% as a dividend monthly, then people would have the money that they need in order to make the adjustments in their lifestyle which allow them to move toward a low carbon uh, energy future. That's enough that the people could make the changes that are needed. The next time they buy a vehicle, they buy one that's more uh, fuel efficient. You insulate your home. You do the things that allow you to reduce your carbon footprint. And what is actually being talked about by the president and by Congress is something called uh, cap and trade. This is something that was designed by big banks by the financial interest, by and for their best interests, not the public's best interest. What we need is to put a gradually rising price on carbon, but with 100% return to the public. So the, the motto should be 100% dividend or fight. It's very easy to do. And as I say, it would be quite a lot of money. Um, and it would allow us to move to a clean energy future. Well, I think that if, once again, the elected officials turn and support the financial and corporate interests rather than the public, then I think it is time to turn toward a third party. I'm an independent, and I think that the problem is that both of our parties are too much under the influence of uh, big money. Uh, we've never succeeded in getting campaign finance reform and even though at the last election the president was elected mainly with the support of small people contributing small amounts of money but yet so far the actions are not what is needed for to support uh, the public's interest over that of the big corporate interests. So I think we have to seriously look at the possibility of a third party. You can call it a tax if you want. I like to call it a fee, and with 100% distribution of that money back to the public. And why that is needed is that can help uh, drive the economy. The, if there's a rising price for carbon emissions, then there will be innovators who will, um, it will, it will encourage investment 
in technologies that are low carbon or no carbon and it will encourage investment in energy efficiency. And if that money is given 100% back to the public, then I would not even call it a tax, but it's the kind of mechanism that we need in order to drive us to a clean energy future. I think that at the time in the 1970s when there was an accident at Three Mile Island, it was time to stop building new nuclear power plants until we really reassessed the situation. Now we have done that and there is the potential for much safer uh, nuclear power in the future. And at this time, the only options for baseload electric power are coal or nuclear power. And I think that uh, next generation safe nuclear power is an option which we need to develop. And it is being developed in many countries around the world. So if the United States uh, declines to do that, we're just going to suffer economically because other countries will take the lead in that technology. At present, we still have the top experts in the world and we should take advantage of that by developing safe nuclear power. In fact, there is the possibility for technology which can burn nuclear waste, which would solve the biggest problem with nuclear energy.